Are you like everybody else and obsessed with Squishmallows? Let's see if they can pick my squishies. Don't wait for tomorrow. What's up everybody? It's Dr. Squish. I hope that you are having an awesome day in the world, wherever you are, whenever it is that you decided to watch this video. So, uh, as I asked in the intro, are you obsessed with Squishmallows? If you don't have a clue what I'm talking about, first of all, where have you been? People are just obsessed with these things. I actually only have one. I have this adorable little axolotl. His name is Archie. I think he's a Party City exclusive, hence his little red balloon. So cute. Uh, so Archie, Archie's my only actual Squishmallow. I do believe Little Squish has a few in her room. She has a, like some gigantic ones. They're huge. But today I'm going to be seeing if Squishmallows can pick my Squishy. How are we doing that? I have a bunch of these. It says Squishville by Squishmallows. So each one of these little things is a little blind bag. It's got one little mystery Squishmallow in it and I'm gonna open these up and see uh, what's inside. But I think there are seven that you can get. That's what it looks like on the back and then one mystery. So eight different ones, maybe? I don't know. But we're gonna see uh, which ones we get in here and we are going to um, make a squishy based on the Squishmallows. I'm going to use my stuff balloons. That's what I've been using to make squishies. So let's go open some Squishmallows. Okay, I have a one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's just go ahead and open the first one, shall we? And see what we get. Uh, my first little, oh my gosh, is that a hippo? <laughs> His little ears, it's a little purple hippo. It doesn't tell me what they are. It does look like a little hippo back there. That one's adorable. I'm just gonna go ahead and open all six of them and then we'll make some squishy toys uh, shortly after. It looks like a little rhinoceros. Now, these guys look very similar, but one's got hippo teeth and one's got a rhino horn. The little ears are the same. Okay, rhino is not on the back, which means we can get more than just these eight. So, that's cool. <gasps> Green, what is this? Is this a llama? It kind of reminds me of a llama or an alpaca. But yeah, this one's not on the back either, so you can get way more than that. I can maybe think of some squishy ideas here, guys. <gasps> Little unikitty, oh my gosh, it's like a rainbow unikitty. That's cute. We have, oh, it's a little pug. Oh, you guys, <laughs> look at his little tail. Do the rest have tails? No. Okay, last one I'm gonna open today, and we will make squishies. Oh, I didn't get a single solitary double. Oh my gosh, it's a frog. You guys, it's eyes or where everyone else's ears are. So, ears, eyes, he's got wonky eyes. Okay, let's decide which of these we're gonna make squishies from. I don't wanna do everybody. Okay, I made some final decisions and I think I have uh, some good things that I found that I can put in these squishies and all of my squishy making stuff. So I am absolutely going to do the lavender unikitty. It's got a like holographic horn and some pastel rainbow. I think that I am going to do this cute little pug. This one challenged me a lot. I think I found something fun and I have decided on green llama. So I am ready to make squishies with my stuff balloons. So let's go. Okay, so let's start with this kitty. It is a lavender. It has like a little pastel rainbow here. I think it's really cute and it has a holographic horn. Let's get the squishy machine set up. Again, uh, people keep asking me about these clear, beautiful squishy skin balloons. They are not available yet from the company. I am testing them and we are hoping, hoping that they will be available uh, because they turn out so great. So <laughs> keeping fingers crossed. Okay, now what are we gonna put in it? I have this lavender slime. It's really pretty. This came from the Dollar Tree and it's such good slime. For the unicorn horn, I have this holographic glitter. It is in fact a holographic, just like the horn. Not iridescent or just silver, very pretty. I'm actually going to use this because I think they're so cute. These little Bimo charms, they're little, um, rainbow charms, kind of interesting pastel type rainbow. Oh, this slime's always such good slime. I'm gonna put a big healthy dose of this glitter. Let's mix it up. 
I think that with this amount of glitter, you should be able to see the glitter even after it's mixed in. Like this should just be really beautiful, glittery. I have some chunky holographic glitter too. Let me get that. I'm back. <laughs> okay, I actually have this holographic chunky glitter too, because this is just, it doesn't really show me unicorn, unikitty. So let's go ahead and put a lot of this chunky glitter in. <laughs> oh, I like that. I actually really like that a lot. Okay. Now for these, instead of mixing it in the slime, I'm gonna kind of roll the slime around in them. But here we go. Okay, let's get this in the squishy machine. Slime going down. Slime, slime, slime. I have a clip on standby. I'm just gonna take this off. I don't think I need the stopper. Usually you do, but this doesn't have liquid, so. Well, maybe I did need the stopper, I don't know. Yeah. I probably needed the stopper. Let's see if I can just poke that down in there. Stopper makes it so slime does not come out the top. But anyway, I'm gonna clip it. If I put the stopper in, I wouldn't have these little bits of slime coming out the top. Are you ready to see? Are we ready to look? Oh, look how cute, you guys. It turned out cuter than I even thought. I wasn't sure, but it actually turned out really, really cute. Oh, that one's adorable. I like it so much. Really good, Unikitty Rainbow Pastel Squishmallows. <laughs> good job, Dr. Squish. Well, this little squishy really turned out cute. It's it's kind of the perfect little size stress ball, and it actually turned out cuter than I thought. I was having a hard time. I thought this idea of making Squishmallows inspired squishies sounded great, and then I opened them and I was like, Oh no, my brain, it's not working. This actually turned out really cute. I think that this, the slime is eventually just going, oh, maybe it already did. It's gonna eat all of the little rainbow charms. They're kind of a surprise hidden in there. First Squishmallow squishy, a success. Okay, I don't know about this one. You guys are gonna be like, mm, Dr. Squish, that's pushing the limits of what we are ex willing to believe. But let's go ahead and make our little pug Squishmallow squishy. Okay, let's take a look at what we're working with. So this is my little pug. You know, I don't know. What can I do to make a really cute squishy? But then I thought of some slime that I had. You guys look. <laughs> cookie dough slime. It's kind of the same. Well, this looks really light, but if you actually, where I'm sitting looking at them, they're almost the exact same color. He looks like a little cookie. So I feel like if I put some of this brownish, light brown cookie dough slime, along with some of these black pom-poms, maybe this will work out. I hope, let's try it. Okay, we're gonna get another one of these clear balloons in here these squishy skins, and we're gonna pump it up. It does kinda have a cookie-ish scent. I feel like it smells more like just straight chocolate, like a, oh, it's kinda putty-like slime. Okay, here is my cookie dough slime. I really do think it looks good for him. He is brown, like this is brown and this is white. The camera's not doing him justice. And he is like almost exactly this color. I feel like I can put some of these around if they will kind of stick. Oh, <laughs> they do not stick. Maybe I could do like I did the rainbows and just kind of put them on this slime. Let's see if I can do that. He's got like a little face and he's got some ears. Whoa. Doesn't have to actually look like him, just kind of representation. Okay, let's get this down in here. I'm really curious if this slime's just gonna eat these pom-poms. Get it off, see what it looks like. Do I have a little pug squishy? I'm going to twist it so I can take the stopper off. Put on the clip, let's look. Oh, this is not supposed to look just like the pug. That would be weird. But does it look kind of pug inspired? <gasps> you guys, I think it kind of does. I mean, it kind of really does. Um, Holy cow, does it smell? No, it does not. <laughs> you can't smell that through there. This was the hardest one for me and it actually has worked out way better than I ever imagined. That's crazy. <laughs> Guys, I'm really kind of giggling at this because to make a pug inspired squishy is not something I ever thought that I would actually do. So here's my little pug. There he is. And here is my squishy. Like, it's it's way better than it could have been. <laughs> I mean, I think it actually turned out, it kind of does look like a little, a weird little pug face. <laughs> and it's super duper cute. Don't you guys think so? And it's actually really, really squishy. I wish that I could, smell the slime, but I think it turned out really cool. Okay, so the last one I decided to do is this llama. 
Um, I decided to do him instead of the frog. They are actually the same color. So let's do fluffy green llama. I've never seen a green llama, but let's see if we can recreate a fluffy green llama in some super cool way. Okay, so I'm about to do some serious squishy experiments. You saw it here first. <laughs> I got my little green llama. This is what, this is our inspiration for today. He's green, llamas are fluffy, or is he an alpaca? If you guys know which he's supposed to be, again, let me know, because I don't know. I have some fake snow. <laughs> You guys are like, what is, what direction are we going in? So I'm gonna put like a scoop of this fake snow. I know, just bear with me. This is gonna be a real trust the process and honestly the process might not work. I don't know. I got this grass green uh, colorant. So I'm going to put a couple of drops of that in there. The snow needs water, but we're not gonna do that quite yet. I have this glow in the dark sensory foam. Oh, <gasps> oh, it's so sticky. Oh, listen, let me. I love that. I love this play foam stuff. And it says that it is glow in the dark. So we'll we'll see. Let's, I, I gotta have the glitter. So let's put some green glitter. Or just do it all over the table, doc. It's all over my table. And I'm going to pop in a bunch of this foam. I know, I know this is so weird. You guys are also like, I also hope that this works because we have come on this journey and, and I have my clip ready and I'm going to put in water for the, the the play foam, no, not the play foam, the snow. I'm trying to think what I had to say. I'm gonna put water in. Okay, okay, oh me. Okay, I got it pretty much to the top and now I'm gonna put the stopper in. Okay, now, okay, twist. I'm gonna put the clip on. Oh, oh, water everywhere. The stopper shot out and I didn't get it on in time. Okay. Now, let's mix it all up. I have water all over my table, probably my camera too. Let's mix up all of that. I didn't think that half the water was gonna squoosh out, but maybe that was good. Maybe I'd put too much. Oh my gosh, this thing is so squishy. Of course they were all squishy. <laughs> You're like, um, Dr. Squish, that was the point. No, they were all squishy, but this one. <gasps> okay, so these two had slime, slime and slime and they're squishy for sure but not like this one that snow powder and this foam foam what was it called the foam i don't know it's like sensory foam <gasps> it's so squishy this floofy fluffy foam here that reminds me of like llamas and alpacas and i have this gorgeous green soft snow powder that has made this beautiful compound inside. I am so surprised here. So I was surprised when the stopper came out when I was trying to, to get the clip on, but that's probably because I put too much water in it. I think it was way too much water because this is clearly exactly the right amount. So uh, I ended up making a giant mess. Did it get in my tea? I don't know if it did or not. It might have, maybe, maybe it did. It's fine. <laughs> This turned out really, really cute. And this is by far the squishiest of the squishies. I am super impressed with how it turned out. So here's my little llama. Again, is something about the camera or the lights, it looks almost yellow. It's really, really a green llama. I didn't even check to see if it was glow in the dark, did I? Okay, I have uh, one more light to turn off. Here we go. And it is really not glowing. Um, let me put a black light on it. I mean, honestly, it's just not glowing at all. Here's the foam itself, just by itself. And it just barely glows, even when the light is on it. So that's super disappointing that the specifically glow in the dark uh, foam, sensory foam is not actually glow in the dark. Now it's time. Now, you can vote. Which was your favorite? Was it the adorable kitty unicorn rainbow pastel? Um, squishy. Was it the pug chocolate chip cookie dough squishy with black pom poms to represent pug face pieces? Or was it my super foamy, super soft green llama squishy? So obviously these are not like, like this isn't a kitty unicorn squishy. They're inspired by Squishmallows. But I hope that you guys are having an awesome time and I hope you had fun watching me make squishy today. And if you did, could you please subscribe? Maybe hit that notification button so that you'll be notified when my videos come out. And I will see you on my next show. Bye bye, squishy fans.